How's the World Series going for you, boys and girls? Cub fan, lose the first game. I know the stats are against you. Did you hear that? Like 12 of the last 13 winners of game one have won the World Series, 24 of the last 28. But don't, don't, don't fret. Cub fans everywhere, aren't they? I mean, I, I knew there were a lot of Cub fans. I just didn't know there were this many a lot of Cub fans. And the whole story of this postseason has been about Chicago and the 108 years and everything. I'm kind of on the other side of this. I'm kind of feeling good for Cleveland. Now, I was, uh, no, no secret, I didn't want the Cavaliers to win the NBA championship, but they did, and good for Cleveland. You know what, it was 50-something years, I think, for Cleveland to win a championship. The Cavaliers won, and on one night, what a, what a night it would have been to be in Cleveland, just to be there, just to be around the ambiance. Cavaliers get their rings, and game one of the World Series, and Corey Kluber throws a, uh, and the bullpen throws a shutout. It, it was something else to see. I'm pulling for Cleveland. I'm pulling for the city of Cleveland, the good people of Cleveland, Ohio. Good for the people of Cleveland, Ohio. They deserve to feel this. The mistake by the lake, the drive, the fumble, uh, the the movies, everything that's gone against Cleveland. Good for Cleveland. And, and because the whole story is about Chicago. By the way, Cub fan, I'm saving you from yourself. What are you going to be? Your whole sports identity is the lovable losers. If you win, who are you? It's going to be another obnoxious fan base. You're going to be Red Sox fan. And then what? I'm trying to save you from yourself. It's kind of why I'm all about Cleveland. Cleveland rocks, as Ian Hunter and Mop the Hoople once said. Cleveland rocks.